Welcome back to Patriot Mission 6 Pathfinder. Well, let's see who's in this hut. Oh well, nobody's home. Door's locked. Windows are firmly shuttered, I guess. Rag in front of that one. All right, I can see in, but I can't quite get in. The window's too small. Someone stabbed a cleaver into the wall. How do you even do that? Is that a candle or some weird shrine? I don't know. Well, a firewood, a big pile of coal. I obviously want. Hmm. There isn't like a key. <sighs> <laughs> Dangling in reach here that I could see. Nah. Hello? Well, there's a rope arrow. There you go. I have, I have a thing. I guess I'm supposed to... Santa Claus it? Probably not, but... You know. Whoops. Carrot. Yeah, not mantling. Do they have, have they put objects on top of this to prevent mantling? They probably have. So this definitely should be mantling some of the time there. Okay. Alright, someone's decided to make a bit of level that looks like you can do a thing and you can't do a thing. It seems. Can I mantle on here? Why, why give me a rope arrow if I can't use it? No, apparently I can't mantle there either. Hmm. And I can still probably get on the roof if I if I can rope out of this fairly high up. Just saving beforehand in case I mess something up here. Like, although this is Thief Two, the jump distance isn't that great, is it? No, I don't distance. It's not going to be enough for that. Almost. Gives that one more shot. I don't think this is the way to go, but let's give it one more shot. As high as we can. <coughs> no. Alright, I wouldn't get that rope back easily. Alright, so, okay, we've got a repair from the shed. Can't break the door down, right? <gasps> Come on, FM Orpids. It's an immersive sim. One of the defining characteristics of an immersive sim is you can break doors down. Right? To me, that's, that's like... It's a test. It's it's like, you know, pouring acid on it to see if it dissolves. Can you break the door down? Yes, no. If you can, it might be an immersive sim. If you can't, it definitely isn't. Oh, hello. Another shed? Oh, just, just their outhouse. Well, I don't need to go right now. I just went... Are we dealing with any more silly secret tunnels? I mean, that's backing into a tree, so maybe that is actually a secret tunnel. Rather than just built against the tree. <sighs> Yet again, the game says, Hey, here's the thing, you don't know what to do with it. Ha ha, have fun. Pretty annoying. Okay, can I mantle the side of this? I know the front of this would be... I mean, I've got new metal on, right? I oh, know, maybe I don't. Okay. If I don't have new metal on, that would explain why I can't mantle the side of it. Doesn't explain this. Weird. Maybe it does explain that. Well, I can't fit down the chimney anyway. So, okay, I got up here, but it does me no good. What is that in the pile of coal? Oh, just fire, just sticks. 
So it's had an open fireplace. I mean, I guess it's not supposed to be cold. It's supposed to be just big rocks. And they just built a fireplace in the middle of their hut. That's... I mean, it's a thing you can do, for sure, but... It's not advisable. Especially if your hut's made of wood and you don't want to burn it down. So maybe the idea is, like, should be able to fit through here? <laughs> That's not, is that four units? Uh, I don't want to have to restart to see if I've got a new mantle on to see if I can get through the window, If see if that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I really don't want to, but I might have to. Yeah, I guess I'm going to check that. Well, I do have new metal on, so that's not the problem. So clearly I'm not supposed to mantle through that window. I did look a trifle small, but... Interesting that I couldn't mantle the front of that. New metal normally handles a bit of a slope like that. Okay, but maybe that's just too much of a slope. Well, then I have no idea what I'm doing. Am I just going to have to follow a walkthrough for this entire mission? That would really, really suck. I'm going to say this is a terrible mission. Oh, well, now I've got a rope arrow. Maybe I can go back out somewhere else. I can't really use the rope arrow from underwater, from in the water. I can't shoot it. We'll get out on the bank if there's somewhere to stand. But I mean, if there's somewhere to stand, then I'm not in the water and I don't have a problem. So that kind of, you know, catch 22. They've done a pretty good job with the vegetation. No, I do agree. I do like that. You know, maybe I can stand on these rocks. I guess I didn't try. Okay, I could have got back out of the out of the water again. Well, I've got some place to explore now and some frogs to avoid. Squish, squash, squish, squash. So nothing. Oh, okay, there's a place up there, alright, maybe rope up there, but let's see if there's a better way up than just my rope. Let's see what we're dealing with. Apart from the bluey frogs. And not a lot of anything else. So nothing. Alright, I guess I'm going to try ripping up to that walkway because I don't see anything else to do. How's that gonna work there? Feels like it's a bit too high, to be quite honest. Let's let's see there. What? Did that even Wow, that's way too high. Okay.
Yeah, that's, that's way too high. I can't, I can't get up there. Okay, so... That's just where I came in. Maybe... Kind of similar. Why can I still hear frogs there? No, that's not where I came in. This just gets me across this place. Maybe the doors auto close as well. So that is on the northwestern side. Well, it's the only tree on the north side of the, of the place, right? So what's the point of this tunnel? It doesn't, doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't do anything. Now I guess we check all the other trees, because... No, I don't know where the tunnel I just used was. Of course. We just walk around until we see something highlights. Because is this the one I just did? Let's see. I think so, because it went down and then it went up again. What? Did that just reveal this passage? No, oh, it's just a speed potion. Okay. Yeah, this is just where I was. Okay. Okay, you're making keep your dog lift sounds at me. That's cool. So which tree is this? This is East. Surely one of them's got a door like that. Has a ladder leading up inside. I say surely, I'm not at all sure. <laughs> okay, not those ones. I don't know where the door came in originally was. That's... And maybe that's the easternmost tree, not the east mid one that I said. And which the answer is that I need to keep looking for more. Right, this must be. Where I came in. If 
But this time I guess I should be on the lookout for any extra branches sticking out, because apparently branches are magical. Who knew? I guess in here they're roots. But of course it's pretty dark and hard to see anything. Okay. And this one doesn't open from the inside. Alright. Unless it's a branch from the ceiling, doesn't look like it. Cool, alright, so this is just the way to get to the valley. Well, at least cuts my options down. What can I think of doing next? Going back to the hut and... I don't know, trying to climb on top of the... the loo? the only thing I can imagine left to do. Just again, this is like, this mission design is... winning awards for, for uh, wandering aimlessly with no clue. Like, why give objectives if the goal is wander aimlessly with no clue? Oh, there's a the frog that... Uh, I accidentally spawned by bumping into an egg. Saw a branch, thought, oh, it must be something I need to tweak. No, it's just in the texture. Okay, right, you can you can mantle that. Although maybe the tree gets in the way. I don't know why I want to. I don't know why, what the point will be. Come on, Garrett, go on the right. The angled ground means I'm. Uh, that's not working. I have to try the front and hope that we can make it work. Nope, doesn't work. Anyway, is this even a door? I guess I can't tell, because... Because I've got terrain collisions on with weapons everywhere. <sighs> probably designed that, probably chose to do that so that secret doors were hidden, right? Or maybe the secret doors in this tree. Nope. They probably decided, hey, you know, you know, it'd be even better than making all this stuff ridiculously hidden is if we made it so the one tool that you have that can tell the difference between uh, is there a secret here or am I fucking wasting my time? Let's make that not work as well. Yeah. Am I fucking wasting my time? Yes. All right, walk through time it is again. Okay. <clears throat> so, um... What I'm missing is a gap in the shrubbery in the dark and, you know, the identical shrubbery all around apparently leads somewhere else. God. 
Turns out also in the study area that I can't get back to right now, there were two secret passages. I have. Well, I don't have a visible right now. Um. Swing underwater to avoid alerting me if frog pieces with my splashing. I don't have a visible on my second screen right now, unfortunately, because I, I had to uh, look up what to do in this area, so it's a different page, but there are two secret areas. I don't know which one I did in the first area. Alright, so somewhere now we have to find a... If we can avoid getting exploded... Right, that's the one that goes back to the valley, or well, doesn't go back to it. There's a way through the bushes somewhere. This is like Wolfenstein, you run along all the walls pressing space to see which ones are holding secrets, right? Just like... Is that a gap? It looks like a gap. It's, it's really bad, because like, you make, if you're making bushes an impossible thing, you, you're saying that, you know, the dense bushes are the edge of the level, right? You, you're communicating that it's, that this is where gameplay stops. Um, so you can just put these up there as a big, you know, the player doesn't have to think about this area because this is the edge of the map, but it isn't the edge of the map. So it's, it's, it's setting up a, uh, It's basically establishing a, a uh a uh, a kind of rule for the player that and then the problem is you're breaking that rule to in order to advance. You're requiring you know, you're saying, okay, all this is impossible except the little bit that isn't somewhere that is not otherwise marked. Which is really bad. Marked with a fern. Okay. Uh. All right. Well, what does the hut need to key? And yes, if it turns out other parts of this area need, uh... Okay, that's nice. If it turns out other parts of the mission need, um... What's all that around there? The chest. Oh, it's just, just texture on the sand. Oh, some footprints. Empty bottle, cool. I mean, it's an inventory item. It's obviously going to be important, right? It's not. It's not labeled as a junk item. Oh yeah, the quicksand. I forgot about the quicksand. I didn't realize that's where we were, because this didn't look to me like... I guess it is. Alright, uh, I guess we follow these footsteps. Is this a guide through the quicksand? Oh, cool. I guess they died. I mean, <laughs> they got that far. Oh, hello, there's some more footsteps here. Okay, well, maybe 
Maybe there's something on the solid land. And the quicksand is a good concept. I've just forgotten. It would be better if it killed you quicker. Oh, these trees are impossible to see. They're doing it again. They're doing like... I mean, look, that's... Yeah. Consistency, please. Remember that your levels are not pictures without meaning. They're, they're communicating. Alright, so this has got me... Is this has got me to a complete dead end here. <laughs> what if I'm supposed to just strike out bl blindly? Oops. Well. How come there's two sets of footprints? Oh, there's another one going up this way. Okay. No, wait. That's why. That's the first one. That's the first one I followed. Was there another fork? So that's kind of weird. Well, these ones are just end, right? I can't see any more footprints around. They didn't just like leap forward. I bet if I just keep going forwards, I'm just going to pull in. Yeah. Cool. All right. So now what? I have an empty bottle. What fucking use is an empty bottle? How do we even get back? To the ferns? All right, well, if they're consistent about fern means exit, then... Oh, shit. Sorry, frog. So what? What do I do? What do I do? I mean, I can speed potion. Speed potion is not going to get me across the, the dang uh, quicksand. I have three frog beast eggs. I could throw them to see if it's land or water, but that's not going to get me across much quicksand either. I wasn't even stepping on the sand then. Oops. I don't understand why there's this other path here as well. It's just like... Okay. Cool! Back to the fucking walkthrough! Okay, so there is another wall in the plants that I... didn't see. I looked. I ran along here looking for other exits. There's apparently another one somewhere that I missed. Not where you can see the gap in the plants. The walkthrough is not is not much help because it just assumes you know where things are. No, I can't get through. It's like go right and there's a gap in the bushes. What am I stuck on? I'm literally just now running along, rubbing my nose along the invisible wall to find a gap because... Is that... Is that a gap or is that just... No, it's just the, the invisible wall set further back. Fucking hell. So far this mission is worse than Station to Station. Like, Station to Station was all repetitive and bland and I mean not not worrying about the plagiarism and things. So that's the that's the passage I just came through, right? They said go right and it's obviously not not right. Now there is no other there is no other way through. 
If you're at the beach with the chest, go right about halfway along the plants. Isn't open. You can crouch crouch through. Do I have... Where is the opening? Here? They crouch through here. Is that the idea? The bit where they kind of give way a little? No. I can see more beach on that side, but... And get stuck. Because object collision didn't see forever. Oh, I get through here, can I? But only if I'm crouching. Fucking hell. And only in a little bit of it. Ah. I don't have patience for shit design like this. Okay, now we've got another patent tunnel. Cool. I guess it's not there, it's here, right? Let's just do this. I guess at least I can... Well, I was going to say, that looks... I can see the rock cave. No, that's actually not a tunnel there. It looks like a tunnel. Here they're using the ferns, but the ferns are not marking a way through, are they? Oh, they sort of are. Now right, let's see where this goes then. Spider's great, just what we need. I don't have any fucking weapons. Dark forest. Where are we here? What kind of Kind of across the ravine, I guess. Middle north is where the thing is. What the fuck? What? What the fuck is that? Goes, uh, and moves a fraction. The hell? <laughs> I'm not trying to fucking get to the damn must. Yeah. Fucking shit, fucking shit bag. Just trying to fucking move around. And you have some stupid nonsense with these. Turning you around. I, mean, I guess I should be happy it's not actually doing me any HP damage, right? What I haven't been doing is looking at these big trees to see if any of them have branches on them that open them, you know? They probably do. So far, this place is a big fat pile of nothing. I'm sure there's something somewhere, but of course, hey, guess what? This is magic turn around, spin you around, mushrooms, and spiders everywhere. Am I inclined to explore? Am I inclined to give the designer the benefit of the doubt at this point? Absolutely not. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Can't 
fucking move without it fucking going. Uh, uh, uh. Fuck off. This is shit. I thought this mission was bad already. It's reached new lows. There's nothing fucking here that I can see. Go away. I'm sure there's something there, but I can't fucking see it, so... Who the fuck knows? Uh... Are there footprints on this beach so I can follow? Well, we can follow them. Are they gonna get me anywhere? Well, they're going a little further than the last set did. It's the second pass? Hmm. Doesn't feel very safe to come out here. Whoops. Follow these footsteps. These are mechanists to worry about their own imaginings. Why do these just come here? Well, that's unhelpful. I need to go to this beach and follow the footsteps. I came here, I followed the footsteps. They just lead me to a wall I can't fucking metal. Am I supposed to rope up the back of this? No, because it doesn't. It's made of wood, but it doesn't accept ropes. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? That's what I'm supposed to find. Okay, find it. Bit of his uniform, and I know it's him. I didn't even know he had epaulets. All right, now what? So that's not the way I get to the dam. I have to find somebody to help you get through the quicksands. I got through the quicksands. I got to the causeway. Just let me slaughter those guys. Okay, I know like the whole place is up there, but. Now what? Now I'm going to have to go check the walkthrough a fucking can. Uh, why would... So contrived. Somebody walked out there to the walkway exactly where the Major's uniform was. Maybe they planted that there for me. I don't know. Oh my god. Alright, I'm just... I've just got the walkthrough open on my second screen. I'm just going to follow it now. Because... This is terrible. Okay. Also, on this beach, there is a tree branch. It's there. Find it. In the furthest part of the Epaulette Beach, near... Near the ground sand shoreline. Let me say the furthest part. I think they mean furthest from where you come in, but I don't know. 
So there's an item I need here called Tree Branch. Although things have changed on different difficulty levels, so I don't 100% know if this applies. So that's also good. Something can't see any kind of object. Oh, it's probably hidden among the ferns, right? Because why would you have an object that you need if you're not going to hide it when you don't know that you need it? I mean, there's an absolutely that I don't know. I don't know I need it because what happens is right the. Well, this is telling me about the tree branch and a water arrow. And I don't necessarily need the tree branch just yet. I don't know if I need it at all. I don't know what it's for yet. But... Whether it's triggered by the epaulet... It's probably triggered by the epaulet. Apparently going back to the uh, hut now, the door is going to be open. Because of course that's the way things work, right? It's the way you expect the level to work. You do something completely unrelated and something changes somewhere else in the mission, and you just have to run around to find out where. Well, I can't find this tree branch. So it better not be important. Or it better not be important on this difficulty level. Alright, whatever. Fuck it. Let's go back to the hut. Thing is, it doesn't matter. These are real... Fucking hell, I was trying to stand up and get stuck. These are real fucking bushes. I could just push through them anywhere. Bushes are not solid. I mean, the trunks might be, but it's not even pretty thick, thick shrubbery. Even hedges and stuff, they're all pretty easy to push through. Oh, scratchy, inconvenient, but not difficult. All right, where's the bridge? Oh, we're on the wrong side, we're gonna have to go for a swim again. Okay, the other thing is, at the dead end of the stream, there is a water arrow hidden in the huge boulders. You'll need it later. Don't use it. That's another piece of really bad design. Um, which way was the... Which way is the hut? West. Okay. I guess I'll just jump in here. It's like, here's a common tool. This You absolutely need this one thing that you find that you might consume by accident, trying to, you know, like, put out some of those torches by the hut, maybe? And then you'll... break the, break the mission for yourself. I do appreciate having the walkthrough. What is this? Is all this stuff here hiding anything? Who knows? I hope it's this dead end, I mean, not the other one. Yeah, okay, there it is. No, the hat is not open. Oh, it is! It opens now, it's not locked. How do I know this guy's gonna help me get through the quicksands? He's just some rando. У тебя на руке браслет механистов. Ты посмел явиться сюда с этой штукой? Я не буду против, если ты поможешь мне оставить ее за порогом. От тебя пахнет городом. Почему ты решил, будто я захочу что-то для тебя сделать? О, в этом нет нужды. Просто мы вместе можем хорошенько разозлить механистов. Покажи мне дорогу к монастырю, а остальное я возьму на себя. Меня не волнуют механисты. Проваливай. Да, сейчас. Только покажи направление. До чего прямо все жители города грязные, мерзкие твари. Еще хуже, чем Шейн наш шаман. Может, мне лучше обратиться к нему? А, -а, -а точно. 
Ты можешь это сделать, если твой меч достаточно острый. Вполне. Так и быть. Я все-таки покажу тебе дорогу. Только принеси мне голову Шейм. Только голову? Ладно, идет. Жизнь твоего шамана вряд ли стоит дороже моей правой руки. Она стоит гораздо дороже. Но я говорю не о жизни, а о смерти. Так где же прячется твой шаман? Жители города не только упрямы, они еще и тупы. Шейм не прячется. Нет, прячусь я. И это пора прекратить. Ближе к делу. Древесный храм, сокрыт во тьме лесов. Ты не найдешь туда дороги, пока не осветишь себе путь желтым люпином. Да, я видел их полно в лесу. Нет, идиот! Ты не можешь их взять, они сразу же гаснут. Ты должен вырастить свой собственный. Только он укажет тебе тайные знаки. Боюсь, у меня нет столько времени. Жалкий мальчишка, ты ничего не знаешь о жизни леса. Найди место потемнее, где-нибудь внутри пня, упавшего дерева, и там воткни в землю вот это семечко. И не забудь парить ты. Все будет быстро, как удар меча. Думаешь, это сработает? Не приходи больше, пока у тебя не будет с собой головы шеи. Okay, this is actually telling me to grow the glowing lupine, place the seed in the ground within the stump of a fallen tree and water it. When picked, the lupine will help you to find and open the entrance to the woods temple. But how do I get to the fallen tree? I can't get back to the area where the fallen tree was. Am I supposed to know how to do that? Magically cool hammock though, man. Nice hammock. And this window is open now. You don't need loot for me. I am just frustrated by this mission a bit. <laughs> All right. Um, it's a bit worried to say you complain about the city people. That's the ugly creature. This is so. <laughs> Throwing so much uh, effort into those words. It was good, but, um... See, some bits of the mission are good, some bits are really terrible. Alright. Ah, right, so that's what I need the tree branch for. I need the tree branch. So the door that I couldn't open that goes back to the main forest area where the fallen tree is, that's what the tree branch is for. Great, so I do need to go. I mean, the walk maybe the walkthrough is wrong about which beach it is. I guess I can go through both beaches and run around looking for a tree branch again. This episode is probably going to run over time. There's not that many steps left in the walkthrough. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, this mission is so tedious to me, I'm just going to, uh, keep doing this mission until the end on this recording. Just get it done. Get it out of the way, because I want to start the, I like, the next one is the one I'm really looking forward to, and I want to start fresh. I mean, maybe the next one will be very frustrating as well. Hopefully it won't be quite so... <sighs> find everything that's super hidden in the dark. Frustrating. I mean, I'm not expecting a smoothly designed mission of now. Now that we kind of know how the design sensibilities and the adventure game moon logic that runs behind these missions is. But at least I'm expecting an interesting place to explore because design is bad, but. Zontic's building is pretty cool. I mean, even these areas are very good. Except for the fact that everything's so fucking hidden. Uh, it was up this northeast corner. Going back to the beach. Literally right up here in the very corner. One place you can get through. Conveniently, there's a tunnel through the rock. 
Conveniently, that goes. That's where the phone's go. Okay, so I'm looking for a tree branch. Why would there be a tree branch on the beach? I don't know. There aren't any trees here, so. And why would this tree branch be the key to unlocking the passage back the way I came? Because when the door auto shuts. How did the door auto shut? I mean, it's not like it's mechanical. Right? It's not like it's got some electromechanical sensors. It's just a wooden door, presumably. But it auto shuts to... So that you have to do some moon logic to get it back up again. It's just... Bizarre nonsense. Oh, I do have a weapon, but I could have been killing the spiders. Silly me. Um, I was thinking I don't have any arrows because normally, normally I'll use arrows because I can get them from a distance. So I could go back to the dark forest and kill some spiders, and that would make me slightly happier. I guess. Not very much happier because I need this tree branch. Unless it's in the dark forest zone too, which is. Yeah, well, I, I don't know what else to do, so. Can't find where the tree branch is. I might have to go look up another extremely specific location, hint or worse. Open the mission in the editor for it. Giant ticks. This is, I'm getting very Northern Journey vibe. Not spiders at all. Doing too much damage when they bite. Hopefully, I don't get Lyme disease. Kill them all. Do you fucking mind? I didn't go anywhere near you. I just want to go around this side. I forget. Let me just do the jumpy thing back here again. Like it's a whole hitting the ground with it to be a sword. Which is really annoying. Turn around the mushroom nonsense. Yeah, come on. Great, you're trying to fight and this fucking things just turn you around. Die, tree, die.
Well, I think there's little spiders, right? I still have no idea what this place is for, but hey, one less fucking hazard in the world. Where's that tree branch? I mean, unless it is in this zone, I'm going. I might have to go look up at another hint because I was looking over the beach there and not finding it. And my patience is extremely thin. This I'm sure you can tell. Really, like I'm could just control shift built in this nonsense. I figure I should see it through, however painful it is. Right, you, you get to see exactly how painful it is. Like. Is the tree branch even here? Is it going to be that the door is magically usable now? Like the one on the hut? That I don't have to find the tree branch? Is that just like... That's an expert difficulty thing? Is you have to find the tree branch? I don't know. I can't see any sign of a tree branch. So I'm going to test that theory. And if it's not right, then I'm going to open up the level editor in Drummond to find out where this dang fucking tree branch is. Because... How the fuck else am I going to... make any progress. Mm. Other side of the bridge. That tree. My phone keeps buzzing up telling me that uh, notifications that people I follow on Twitch have gone live and I'm just thinking like, you know, I could be just hanging out in somebody's stream watching them play a fun game instead of this. That's not the one. I'm sure this isn't going to be open, right? I'm going for the damn frogs to get out of the way. These guys I need arrows for because I can't safely hit them nearby because they explode. And they're not they're not going together. You saw nothing. I don't think this is gonna work. I don't think this is going to do anything. I mean, there isn't like a lever in here, right? The door to the hut opened by itself. You know? I guess the idea is the guy came home, right? But... We're at the wrong end again. Okay, well, we're running all the way back again because having seen in the editor now exactly where the damn branch should be, it's not there on expert apparently. Um, unless a mystery. Difficulty zero is normal, right? Destroy our difficulty two, and I'm pretty sure difficulty two is expert. But it's been a while. Why does this one open with my hands and the others don't? Who knows? You know, just moon logic. There's more moon logic. There's more water arrows at the other end of this thing too, apparently. But I'll check them out later. <sighs> I 
don't know what the Dark Forest area is for, but... Looking at all of this, looking at it all really carefully. That's what I missed. The map. Can you see that? I cannot see it now. Is it just barely consuming? That's what I fucking missed. That's the fucking thing you have to find. God. This mission is destroying all the goodwill I had for you know, this campaign. You know, even this frustrating bit before, I have to look at one or two things. This, but take this fucking mission. I'm almost willing to say, hey, Christine, I want to go back to Pirates Ahoy and dance with the snakes again. That's how, that's how frustrating this mission is being. Imagine if those snakes were in this mission too. That'd be, that'd be just like that. W I would not keep playing. It would just be there's just too much crap to put up with now. Okay, so the eastern end right is where the where we get out, where the, where the boulders are. So maybe another water arrow. Yeah, there is. I can see that. <laughs> also, I'm going to need a bottle of water. To water the dang thing with. And that's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> Alright. Back around again. Well, no, we just wait for this bug beast to leave. But we're at the place we need to be now, right? Okay, should have everything I need to grow a plant. Now, there's another exit from. This other zone, which I don't know where it is, but I guess we'll find it somehow. I've got a magical two water arrows now. So, I, like, how, it's not only that this, I know I need to know that I need this tree branch. I need to know that this tree branch opens the door, and that I need to put it somewhere. Where does it go? Because that's not being, that's, that's not made clear either. <laughs> in the walks, or this is like, I could look it up in the editor and I'm probably gonna have to. It's not down here, is it? Maybe there's something down here. I'll have a quick look around. Nothing lighting up at eye height. Nothing visible because all the texture is the same and it's really dark. It's all undifferentiated. Any on the roof? I know they like stupid short prop distance as well, so like if you have to put it in somewhere, maybe it's just something stupid like you have to be really close to it. There. Fucking hell. Alright, where are we? What's the north tree, right? North middle. Well, 
Well, there's a tree stump. Okay, now I have a rope arrow, I can actually come up here and see what this guy's squeaking about. Hello? <laughs> Plums! That's the secret. Cool, sorry man. Sorry to take your plums. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately take the damage again. Cool, whatever, fine. What I do want to do is run around these trees and find the other passage, which is apparently important. I don't know. But from the walkthrough, stuff might happen when I start going to seed. I don't know, but it's... Okay, not that one. I know I looked around all these before, and I didn't find that tree branch on the one. Circles, and I looked at this one already. So that's the one with the passage, we know that one. Passage back to the valley. At least there's nothing trying to kill me here. This one also has a thing right next to it. Glowy plant. No, oh, that's leaves, that's not a tree branch. Totally different. Okay, this is on the northeastern end. Where does this one go then? <laughs> this one does open from this side because it's got a free branch on this side. Okay. We can get back out. Why did some of them need you to from a tree branch and others just work? Oh, this is the dark forest, is it? On the very far eastern side, okay. At least we know where it goes. Why some of them you can just open and some of them you need a tree branch for? Who knows? Trees work in mysterious ways. Well, let's go grow plants. Just a bit of vegetation <laughs> leaking through. All right. Now this lights up, it didn't light up before. But... Ok, 
Okay. Bottle of water. Useless bottle. See, now the bottle, it was an empty bottle first, now it's a useless bottle. I know now that there's no other use for it. It's now turned into junk. Of course, you can't prob it, you've got to cut it down. <laughs> Glowing Lupine. Cool, okay, now. Uh, when picked, it'll help you to find it open the entrance to the Woods Temple. So now we get back to that tree takes us to the dark forest and we go look around the dark forest. Okay, I'm just literally following the uh, instructions on my second screen right now. Although, oh, because I was looking for exactly what to do with the uh, bottle, which the walkthrough wasn't clear on. Again, there's differences in this. The thread and the walkthrough are both a little bit confused by. I'm not sure what difficulty levels they're on. And of course, some of the hints in the thread are for different difficulty levels. Well, this is good design. You gotta drop this thing somewhere where you don't have any room to drop it. To frog to labor. I'm mean, stuck on the ladder. Cool, great design. All right, so now this is gonna reveal a door to us somewhere. <coughs> Fuck you! I did not get. That's the one we came in, right? I guess. I'm not going near that dang fucking mushroom. Which fucking way am I facing now? God, fuck this shitty shit fucking mission. You wanted a mission that says fuck you, you couldn't have. One that's better designed to say that. I don't know which fucking trees I've tried. Let's use my thankfully new dark as get unstuck key because otherwise is it just where I came in? This is gonna turn me around, isn't it? This is the way I came. <laughs> fucking sh pile of shit. Am I trying to go fucking east or west? I thought I was going west. This came through there. 
Which fucking way is west? What fucking way is this? Where does this author live? Can I go murder them, please? I came this way. Stupid fucking mushrooms to turn me around. Where the fuck is this place? Fuck is this nonsense? I'm actually extremely tempted to just go and delete all these fucking mushrooms in the editor now. But I'd be better off just deleting the whole fucking mission. Literally, the only thing keeping me going now is is interest in the next mission. But I am. It's the last time I got frust this frustrated by a mission. I uh. Forget what it's called. Something about death until daylight. Or I don't know. Is that someone we already know? It's got nothing. The fuck? Where the fuck? I'm looking it up. Where, where did I drop the damn thing? Not the dark forest that I need? It's in the other part of the forest? I thought they said go to the dark place and look there. What the fuck is this area for then? Oh fuck you. I was telling me to go to the dark area and, and oh my god. Why do I need a light if it's not for the dark forest? Fuck your shit. The walkthrough doesn't say where it is. It says walk around the forest a little and you'll find a tree. Bright green side of the tree. Although that might be a secret, I'm not sure. Oh my god, fuck you. Can I drop this on top of the ladder? Nope. Fucking sh piece of shit. You know I'm gonna be walking around holding something in my hands. Don't make me fucking drop it to climb a fucking ladder. So they've been getting mixed. Signals on whether I need to erase those bugs or not from the thread. The walkthrough doesn't mention it, but then I. The thread, some people in the thread say you do need to, but it might be dependent on difficulty. I have the two water arrows, I can douse the bugs. But I don't know if that's invalidated any trees I've already searched or not. There we go, no more water arrows. Oh cool, you spawn a fucking tree beast! And while I have to walk around with glowing like a fucking... My god. I didn't think this mission could get worse. I did not think this mission could get worse. That's where I need to be. Oh great, I need to be... Oh. Fuck you in the fucking face, you piece of shit. Alright, let's go to that tree first, right? Let's go to that area first. Leave this thing there. I don't want to be walking around carrying it. Fucking tree beast spawning out of nowhere. That's a, that's a, that's a bullshit. This is... 
Like I said, the last mission there, there's two missions that got me really frustrated like this before. One is, um, oh, the three B six is here anyway. Where did they come from? They weren't here before. Did they spawn because they have this now? Alright, well maybe we can just bypass them then. Maybe I don't need to put the things out. I don't know, I'm confused. I don't give a shit. What I need to do and what I don't need to do. Hey, I've got two broadheads. They're gonna be super useful. Some free beasts can open doors, apparently? They shouldn't be able to. Because he did see me just as I was going in. But whatever. Let's get this fucking out, boys. What? Just ends? Oh. So this thing lights me up, but barely illuminates anything for me to see by. Right, these these passages, of course, that we saw that we couldn't get up to. Right, I would have dropped this, but the walkthrough said, don't drop it, you'll need it. So, you know, if I dropped it, I'd obviously have to come back for it, which would be... Add, you know, another frustration to the pile. Not like this mission isn't... You know, it's just all super casual and chill. Easy. You know what to do. I mean, it's, no, it's, the thing is, the mission is fucking easy. It's just you don't know what to do and where to go when everything's fucking hidden. Oh my god, it's the worst. It's not difficult. It's impossible. It's a, the difference is difficult is you know what to do and it's hard to do it. Yeah, this is why I need it, right? Because this door won't open without it. Let's not be... Why did that select my broadheads? Is that the shaman said? <laughs> well, maybe we do need to be lit up. Maybe we do need this thing. Let's see. Do anything? Nope. Well, that's a strong branch. The walkthrough just says, right, uh, go in there. You know, go up the stairs. After taking the shaman's head, search her room for a branch switch. I mean... Oh, hang on. Is this a new, a new place? Oh, I see. You're the shaman. How you see me? It's dark. Ладно,я,не,стану,осложнять,твою,задачу. Я верю в судьбу, но взамен я хочу кое-что тебе подарить. Мне ничего от тебя не надо. О, ты не можешь от этого отказаться. Я подарю тебе способность иногда видеть то, чего другие не видят. И чего, возможно, ты тоже предпочел бы не видеть. <coughs> Магии нет, колдунья. Магии нет, но есть природная сила, которую люди отвергли в своем дремучем невежестве. Дотронься до меня, и эта сила вернется к тебе. Ну ладно, хватит болтать. Твой приятель ждет меня.
Ooh, whoa. Just trying to throw that stuff, got flung into the here. I found a random secret because I was trying to prop it on the table. Alright, we got more frog beasts, healing potion, holy water we can't pick up, more potions we can't pick up. Cool, whatever. No head. Alright, we changed to uh, trail of blood music now. I only had two rope arrows, so yeah, I could have got up here way easier, way earlier. Uh, okay, I do not look forward to having to go and edit this thing and cut out all these bits. Well, that's going to be weeks away from now. I'm going to have to do that. Put that off. But basically every mission I've done in this, I'm going to have pieces to cut out where I've had to go look up the walkthrough. If I was slightly better set up, I wouldn't have to bother cutting them out, but because I'm like showing my whole desktop and stuff, it makes sense not to just throw that on YouTube. I don't know what. Probably nothing on there that matters, but you never know. Safer just to cut it. Okay, so where are we going? Uh, North Middle. This tree? Yeah, it is this tree. Get back to the valley then. We're not getting stuck on bushes. So we did hear three beast sounds in this area before, but it was like on the other side of the chasm. The three beasts apparently can fly. Whatever. Back to this guy, we swim this way. No, this is the wrong way. We swim west. Oh, we might as well swim. We'll have to worry about the bug beasts. So yeah, I don't know if, if, if dousing the bugs was doing anything at all or not. Apparently on normal difficulty you can just use a water arrow to grow the seed? I don't know. Conflicting information in the thread, and, and definitely... Like that tree branch, apparently you don't have to find that on the wall, or maybe the bottle, there's nothing in the chest on the wall, I don't know. That's confusing. man I brought you ahead you want it и чем же она тебя счастливила взамен это не твое дело да 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 какой-нибудь из утраченных даров которые она так любила тебе это должно понравиться Делай свое дело, мерзавец. Мой меч еще не затупился. Ты что это, угрожаешь? Мне? Эх, это не важно. Я твой должник. Еще одна маленькая задержка, и мы отправляемся. Надо выполнить ритуал. Какой еще ритуал?
The fuck? This is the icing on the cake <laughs> of absolute bullshit in this mission. I, shall walk the path. <laughs> I did read in the thread that uh, for someone that was bugged and he kept walking to the fire and dying and they had to stand in front of him to stop him doing that. Теперь следуй за мной и не отставай. Right, this is why the toilet's always shut, because it's a secret tunnel! Well, it's not usable. Well, good news is we're just about done. And then I need a break. I really need a break from this. So I'm going to get my mind off all this frustrated anger. Sounds like stone, not wood. Oh, it's a new part of the level I didn't get to before. Alright, I'm gonna have to follow right behind him, right? There's not gonna be footsteps this time. It's gonna, it's gonna be that sort of bullshit. You know how he knows how to get there safely? Because the pathfinding DB tells him. He can he can see the cells and links that normally you can only see in from it. I wanna look around, but if I do I'm gonna miss where he turns, so. Oh, we're way to the west of where we were before. Where are the other beaches? What if he falls off? Because it's possible for AIs to pass by, to, to pass by badly and fall off. Это конец пути. Дальше ты идешь один. Я буду ждать до заката, после чего ухожу и выбирайся сам. Where am I going? I'm not up there. Oh, I see. Think. Fuck. Vincent's killed one, the shame. Others killed. They deserved it too. So that whole dark part of the area was nothing at all? Was You never needed to go there? It was just a fucking lols? Well, whatever. Whatever. We're done. And uh, I'm just going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching, if you put up with all of that. Uh, let's hope the next one's a lot better.
<laughs> See you then. <laughs>